is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we are doing something a little bit different. I say that every time. Uh, but basically ladies and gentlemen, I have been sent a very, very cool email by a subscriber that has blown me away. It's absolutely fantastic. As you guys know, I am the, at the moment, the current YouTube promo champion. If you guys want your very own YouTube promo championship, you guys want to take this championship from me, all you have to do is enter the 2020 Kip Clips promo competition and hope for the best. So yeah, basically, ladies and gentlemen, I have received an email from a subscriber named Kevin. And Kevin has done something absolutely fantastic. He is one of my loyal subscribers. He doesn't comment on every video, but when he does, it's very detailed, it's very descriptive, and he's always given me compliments. He's one of my favorite subscribers. I always love reading his comments. So, receiving this email has been absolutely flattering to me, if I'm honest, and it has bl honestly blown me away. So, without getting into it too much, Kevin has made his very own YouTube promo championship based off my design. Essentially, a replica of my championship, which has absolutely blown me away. So what we're going to do is, in this video, we're going to be reading this email and I will show you the pictures he's sent to me of the uh, replica YouTube promo championship, I guess you could say. So, without further ado, let's read this email. Okay guys, I have the email on my screen right now. Let's get right into it. Joe, I am writing you this email for a few reasons. First off, you have a huge fan of your YouTube channel in the United States. I watch nearly every single video and usually offer comments where I can. I really enjoy the wrestling content of your channel. The random promos were hilarious and I hope they return at some point. We shall see. There is little to criticise about your channel. Your content is solid, entertaining and just all around fun. The backyard trampoline battles are, excit are exciting and you never know what you're going to get when you watch them. The battle you had with your mum was probably one of my favourites. Thank you very much. In saying that, I watched your video about Kip Clips and the YouTube Promo Competition, and in particular, the YouTube Promo Championship belt that you made since you won the 2019 competition. I agree with the voters. You have one of the top wrestling channels on YouTube and you deserve the recognition for sure. After seeing your video where you made your Promo Championship belt, I thought for a while and decided I wanted to replicate your belt, adding a few different aspects to mine. That is absolutely insane. Back in March, right before, you know, the global situation, I started putting together the idea and materials for the belt. While yours is cardboard for the strap, mine is what here in the state we call in the States as plastic canvas. It is a plastic material with small squares that you can cut and sew designs using a needle and thread. So the strap side pieces are four individual pieces sewn together, two per side that attach at the main plate. I have hand sewn all of the pieces myself, very time consuming and tiring on my hands. I can imagine, man, I've, I've never been good at sewing. We did textiles in school, which is basically just sewing class and I failed it. <laughs> um, so the main plate is a piece of plywood that I used to cut out my plate. Okay, that's exactly the same as mine. The plate and the YouTube logo were painted with acrylic crafting paint. Match on that again. The play button in the middle is raised as evidenced by the third attached picture. That is awesome. I really wanted to have my main plate raised, but I also didn't want it too thick. So I really struggled to find a good wood. So in the end, I just left it flat. Anyways, where were we? The ribbons at the top of the plate were hand cut and sanded by myself. The letters are just some basic stickers from our local hobby store. I hand painted the oval at the bottom and made a sticker at my job to put over the silver oval at the bottom of the plate. The red jewels were from our local hobby store as well. The back of the belt, as seen in the fourth picture, has a piece of heavier cardboard for support since the main plate is a bit heavy. Yeah, that, that's fair enough. I, I can understand that. The side plates are similar to yours as mine have a different type of globe and microphone. What I wanted to do was actually make removable side plates with the JA logo. Now, I am a massive uh, custom removable side plates fan, so this is absolutely insane to me. The logo was drawn onto the side plates after they were painted black, and I hand painted the logos. Not easy, and probably the most difficult part in terms of painting. I used small wooden pegs and spray painted them to attach the side plates so that the plates could be removed, although we all know who the YouTube champion, who the true YouTube promo champion is. Um... Anyways, the side plates and main plate were all clear coated with triple thick clear adhesive, making the belt virtually scratch or chip proof. That is a very smart idea. Um, if any of you are into like custom figures or just painting anything, any acrylic paint you use, you should always seal it with any kind of a uh, like sealer. Uh, so there's clear, there's matte, you know, any adhesive se uh, sealer. It, what it does is it basically adheres the paint to the wood or whatever material you're painting on 
and um, it makes it so it's basically non-scratch proof. It's not gonna chip. The paint's gonna stay where you always wanted it to. Anyways, uh, where were we? I decided to not make this belt, not to copy from you directly, but rather as a tribute and a thank you for continuing to run a great channel, even through, you know, Steve Carino. It has not been everything you had hoped for. I know, I know, but you know, Every time I look at the amount of work I put into this belt, I know it's to represent one of the best, if not the best YouTube wrestling channel out there today. That honestly means so much to me. Like, thank you, Kevin. Like, honestly, that blows me away. Considering how many, like, YouTube wrestling, uh, wrestling YouTubers there are, you know, I'm just a genuine guy from a small town in England. Like, it, it blows my head. Um, but, you know, the, the fact you think that, honestly, it means so much to me. So thank you very much. Where were we? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm still working on my Daniel Bryan eco-friendly belt. Oh yes, uh, me and Kevin first got touched through my Daniel Bryan eco-friendly championship video. The reason I blew up, that video's got like 90,000 views. Uh, I made that out of wood as well. And that's where I really started. Uh, so yeah, Kevin making that still, um, although getting very close to having that done. So I will send pictures when completed. Awesome. Uh, everyone that has made their own promo, not promo, uh, eco-friendly belt that... Uh, I sent the templates to have sent me them and they look fantastic. Honestly, guys, everyone's done a fantastic job. I'm about to, re I am about ready to start my next belt project, a wooden belt version of the AEW TNT Championship currently held by the pyromaniac known as Cody. Uh, he didn't say the pyromaniac, that was me. Pictures to follow when that is completed as well. Awesome. Uh, I don't actually mind the uh, TNT Championship. I don't think it looks that bad. Everyone's hating on it. It's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I would love if you made a mention of this belt on your channel. You're getting a whole video, man. Uh, I think it would be super cool, but I understand if you don't want to. Anyways, stay safe and keep making great videos. Your number one fan in the United States. Thank you, Kevin. Absolutely awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the email that Kevin sent me. Uh, an absolutely lovely email to receive. I received it uh, the, uh, a couple of, ev couple of evenings ago. Um, and I loved it. It literally made my whole day, even though the day was already over. So without further ado, let's attach the pictures of his promo championship and let's look at them because they're so cool. Let's go. Okay, guys. So here is Kevin's uh, tribute belt, his replica version of the YouTube promo championship. And it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, look at the JA side plates, man. That is so cool. Um, the promo championship banner uh, is all 3D. Uh, the YouTube play button uh, little triangle, that's 3D. Uh, all of this is so cool, man. Like, honestly, uh, there's elements that like look the same as my belt but there's also so many differences that make it even cooler obviously here you see the backing bit with that extra bit of cardboard um yeah the side plates are uh, interchangeable that, that wooden pegs idea is genius like honestly genius um obviously we got the different kind of globes the different kind of microphone but all in all this is absolutely fantastic man i i love it it's honestly awesome the fact that you have gone through this much effort to make a tribute belt a replica version of my own custom design that i literally thought of myself has blown me away it's it's amazing so once again kevin i want to say thank you because this is so cool now guys if kevin had a youtube channel i would 100 percent be telling you guys to subscribe but unfortunately as, as far as i know he doesn't but this is absolutely fantastic i can't say thank you enough man but just for the sake of it one more time kevin thank you uh let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below i hope you've enjoyed this video uh if you guys could leave a comment saying thank you kevin i know he would appreciate that i would appreciate that uh but yeah please be sure to give this video a like comment and subscribe i've been your current youtube promo champion joe freaking anthony and i will see you in the next video goodbye